Today, we're talking about why some states in the U.S. are having money troubles. In 2022, the U.S. Census Bureau said about 38 million Americans were poor, which is around 11.5% of the whole population. This number hasn't really changed from the year before, but it's higher than it was before the pandemic. Why are these states having problems? Well, things are getting more expensive, making it tough for families to afford everything they need. Also, in some places where there are more black people, there's more poverty. This shows that there are still big differences in how much money people have. But it's not all bad news. States like Minnesota, Washington, and Maryland are doing better. They have big companies like Target, Amazon, and Marriott, which help the local economies and communities. So we looked at data from the U.S. Census Bureau to find out which are the 10 poorest states in the U.S. for 2024. We checked things like how much money each person makes and how many people are poor to get a good idea. Basically, we picked the 10 states where people have the least money. But we also looked at how many people are poor to understand better. The poverty rate tells us the percentage of people living below the poverty level. Now here's the tricky part. Even though we wanted to use data from 2024, the newest official info we could find was from 2022. So we used that for our research. We made sure to only include states where more people were poor than the official national rate of 11.5% in 2022. All the poverty rates we used came straight from the U.S. Census Bureau. Let's take a closer look at why these states are having trouble and what's being done to help them out. Missouri, known for its lively cities and stunning landscapes, unfortunately, grapples with financial difficulties. In 2022, the state's per capita income was $36,640, which, although not the lowest, still positions Missouri among the poorer states in the country. The poverty rate in Missouri stood at 13.2%, indicating the proportion of people living below the poverty line. Efforts are underway to enhance economic conditions in Missouri through various programs and initiatives aimed at supporting those in need. However, this situation involves a mix of different problems converging. Issues like insufficient affordable housing, stagnant wages, and an unjust system worsen the challenges faced by many Missourians. In Missouri, the housing situation reflects what's happening in other areas grappling with affordability. For every 100 very low-income households renting in Missouri, there are only 44 affordable places they can actually afford. Even if someone is earning Missouri's minimum wage of $12.30 per hour, they would still need to work a full 50-hour week just to afford a basic one-bedroom apartment. Despite efforts to tackle homelessness, Missouri experienced a 12% increase in overall homelessness and a staggering 24% increase in people with nowhere to stay between 2022 and 2023. This reality underscores the difficulties encountered by numerous individuals and families in Missouri. Indiana, known for its warm hospitality and rich basketball tradition, faces economic challenges that affect many of its residents. In 2022, the state's per capita income was $35,984, placing it among the lower end of income levels in the country. The poverty rate in Indiana was 12.6%, indicating a significant portion of the population struggling to make ends meet. In 2021, Indiana was ranked 16th for poverty with about 10.8% of its residents dealing with it, a slight decrease from 11.2% in 2020. The median household income in Indiana for 2021 was around $62,000. When it comes to education, roughly 18.5% of Hoosiers over 25 have bachelor's degrees, and about 38.2% of the 18 to 24 age group have some college education under their belts. Interestingly, the report highlights Bloomington as the poorest city in Indiana, with a poverty rate reaching 34.3%. Bloomington also earns the distinction as one of the poorest cities in the entire country. Kentucky, famous for its bluegrass music and horse racing, faces economic challenges that impact many of its residents. In 2022, the state's per capita income was $33,980. The poverty rate in Kentucky stood at 16.5%, 
indicating a significant portion of the population struggling to make ends meet. Kentucky is dealing with some tough numbers. Its poverty rate is much higher than the national average, with almost one in four kids living in poverty. Families with children are three times more likely to be struggling compared to those without kids. Here's the thing. Kentucky has the sixth highest poverty rate in the country and the seventh highest child poverty rate among states. That's not a good look. Now, let's talk about the child tax credit. It was a big deal for Kentucky, with nearly a million children in the state, out of 4.5 million total Kentuckians, benefiting from this federal program. Families were receiving direct checks from the government, sometimes hundreds or even thousands of dollars depending on the number of kids in the household. It was a game-changer for the well-being of children in the state and a boost to the economy. But when that support ended, folks had to rely on already low wages, making it even harder to escape poverty, especially for families with kids. New Mexico, known for its vibrant culture and stunning landscapes, faces economic challenges that affect many of its residents. In 2022, the state's per capita income was $33,916, indicating a significant portion of the population struggling to make ends meet. New Mexico saw its unemployment rate hit a record low in the first quarter of 2023, dropping to just 2.7%, the lowest since 2005. This is a big win for New Mexico as it rebounds from the pandemic and demonstrates the strengthening of its economy. However, despite the low unemployment rate sounding promising, there are concerns. Many jobs in New Mexico are in the informal sector, lacking job security or proper labor rights. New Mexico has been grappling with serious crime numbers. In 2020, the crime rate was approximately 3,937 incidents per 100,000 people, which is quite high. In 2018, there were 146 homicides reported in the state, a troubling statistic for any community. Due to these issues, many families have relocated to other states. The situation worsened in 2016 when New Mexico had the highest burglary rate in the entire country, with about 767.8 burglaries per 100,000 residents. Let's take a closer look at Santa Fe. In 2020, Crime in Santa Fe actually decreased by almost 7% compared to the previous year. However, some individuals attribute this improvement to what they call the revolving door problem. This refers to criminals easily entering and exiting jail without facing serious consequences, contributing to a cycle of increasing crime rates. Alabama, renowned for its southern hospitality and rich history, faces economic challenges impacting many residents. In 2022, the state's per capita income was $33,777, placing it among the lower end of income levels in the country. The poverty rate in Alabama stood at 16.2%, indicating a significant portion of the population struggling to make ends meet. Despite investments in various industries like aerospace, education, healthcare, and heavy industries such as automobile manufacturing, mineral extraction, and steel production, Alabama still grapples with economic hurdles. Currently, the unemployment rate is 3%, slightly higher than January's 2.9%, and significantly higher than February 2023's 2.3%. This means approximately 69,086 people are without jobs in the state, up from 66,558 in January and 53,034 in February 2023. When examining poverty rates, disparities among different racial groups in Alabama become apparent. For instance, about 25.6% of black or African-American individuals and 29.2% of Hispanic or Latino individuals live in poverty, compared to only 11.2% of white individuals. Despite the state's efforts to bolster its economy, these disparities persist, highlighting the need for continued work to ensure equal economic opportunities for all residents of Alabama. Oklahoma, renowned for its rich Native American culture and scenic beauty, faces economic challenges impacting many residents. 
In 2022, the state's per capita income was only $32,930, placing it among the lower end of income levels in the country. The poverty rate in Oklahoma stood at 15.7%, indicating a significant portion of the population struggling to make ends meet. Despite Oklahoma's status as one of the largest producers of natural gas and crude oil in the U.S., its history is marked by racism, broken treaties, and land taken from Native Americans. Policies like redlining created pockets of poverty, limited education access, and marginalized communities faced disproportionate incarceration. Despite these challenges, agriculture and cattle ranching became central to Oklahoma's economy with the arrival of white settlers. Living in Oklahoma is relatively affordable, but the state struggles with a low employment rate compared to others. Louisiana, known for its rich culture and delicious cuisine, faces economic challenges affecting many residents. In 2022, its per capita income was $32,171, placing it among the lower end of income levels in the U.S. The state's poverty rate was 18.6%, indicating a significant portion of the population struggling financially. The state's educational system, often not prioritized, impacts public school quality. Louisiana also struggles with lower wages compared to other states and a noticeable wealth gap. Efforts are underway to address these issues, focusing on education, wage improvement, and wealth gap reduction for a brighter future. In terms of crime, Louisiana has seen highs and lows. While reporting some of the nation's highest crime rates, violent crime is decreasing. However, residents remain more concerned about crime and safety than in other states. Despite the decrease in violent crime, Louisiana still ranks highest in worry about violent crime and gun violence. It has the ninth highest violent crime rate, an improvement from fourth last year, and the fifth highest property crime rate, with an 11% increase in property crime and a 23% decrease in violent crime. While 61% of Louisianans worry about property crime, only 34% reported experiencing it. Burglary remains a significant part of property crime, comprising 19% of all property crimes in the state. Despite concerns, many residents are taking precautions, with 83% using some form of property protection and 79% safeguarding against package theft. West Virginia, renowned for its stunning mountains and rich coal mining history, faces significant economic challenges affecting many of its residents. In 2022, the state's per capita income was one of the lowest in the country at just $31,922, highlighting the financial struggles experienced by many West Virginians. The state's poverty rate was 17.9%, indicating a substantial portion of the population is grappling to make ends meet. Despite its natural beauty and history, West Virginia grapples with high child poverty rates, low median incomes, population decline, and a large number of working-age adults out of the labor force. Economists and local community leaders alike feel that the federal government has not effectively supported these areas in their efforts to improve economic conditions. Arkansas, known for its picturesque landscapes and warm hospitality, grapples with economic hurdles that affect its residents. In 2022, the state's per capita income stood at $31,380, reflecting its lower income levels compared to the national average. The poverty rate in Arkansas was 16.8%, highlighting a significant portion of the population facing financial difficulties. Poverty has complex roots in Arkansas, including barriers such as limited educational opportunities, geographic challenges, lack of community support, family structures, especially the number of earners, incarceration rates, and income disparities. Mississippi, with its rich history and warm hospitality, is facing significant economic challenges in 2022. The state recorded the lowest per capita income among all other states at $29,045, and the poverty rate was 19.1%, the highest in the country. The state is experiencing a population shrinkage as young people move to other states like Tennessee, 
which are seeing economic and population growth. Currently, most jobs in Mississippi are in trucking, delivery, sales, nursing, and teaching. The root of Mississippi's struggles lies in the lack of good-paying jobs, inadequate education and healthcare systems, and generally low wages. These challenges are contributing to the state's economic difficulties, highlighting the need for strategic interventions to spur growth and improve living standards for its residents. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. Together, we can tackle the challenges of poverty by supporting initiatives that promote economic growth, access to education, and affordable housing.